Hi guys, I've got a challenge here from Stephanie N.A. She's got to build a car that will push a pile of rubbish weighing 500 grams. Now she doesn't say how far she's got to push it, or whether it's from a standing start or a running start, but I'm just going to test one of my old cars here, just to see what sort of weight it can push. I've moved the front wheels back and I'm going to hot glue a ram on the front of it, just a piece of cardboard, and just see what sort of weight this car can actually push. If it can push 500 grams, then that's fine. If it can't, then I'll design something that will. I've put my two steel rulers on the desk so that I can hot glue that plate in place and have just a bit of ground clearance so it doesn't dig in as it's going along. Well, that's our pusher, or ram, or whatever you want to call it. So, we'll go and do a test run. There's quite a few questions I'd like to ask to go with this challenge. Uh, the type of rubbish to be used we got to move 500 grams, but that could be anything, couldn't it? Um, I've got a carton here of chopped tomatoes. And that says 400 grams. And I've just tried it and the car can't move it. But when you lay it like that, it's got a large surface area on the ground. If you put it that way up, it's got a different amount of surface area and if you put it that way up it's got a even smaller amount of surface area so I don't know when we just say move 500 grams um, what we're talking about if I use the bottom of this pop bottle and put some of my fishing weights in it that's a, a 4 ounce one and a 3 ounce one that adds up to 200 grams that's going to have quite a small surface area. And if I just put them down like that, obviously they could roll. So there's a lot of questions when we're looking at pushing 500 grams. So I'll just try it and see if it'll push like that. I don't think it will. It, it didn't when I laid it flat, but I haven't tried it just like that. The bigger problem is the amount of grip at the back here. And if I need more grip then I'll have to make the wheels wider so they've got more tyre area on the ground. Yeah, so we've got wheel spin there. It, it moved a tiny little bit but I think we're talking about trying to move it forwards a sensible amount of distance. The other question is, is it a standing start or is it a moving start? Because if we start from back here somewhere, then obviously we've actually moved the 400 gram weight. Anyway, the target is to do 500 grams, so clearly this car, as it is, won't move 500 grams of tomatoes. Let's see what it does with 200 grams of lead. Yeah, no trouble at all, 200 grams of lead. So that should be 400 grams of lead now. So it can't manage 400 grams, or at least not without wheel spin. But we can move it a bit with a running start. I'm going to guess that we're supposed to be doing a standing start. And I'm going to go away and put some bigger wheels on the back. 
back here. When I say bigger, wider, so I've got more surface area on the ground so I get better grip. I've replaced the back axle with one of my other <laughs> swappable back axles and this one has two CDs. I think it's two. Maybe even three. Let's have a look. Three CDs side by side for each wheel. So we've got a wider tyre so we've got more grip. Well that's pushing 400 grams quite comfortably. I've got two red lines on my kitchen floor. That one there and that one there. That's three meters. So I'll see if I can get the car to push 600 grams, three meters. Just stopped a bit short. That's a good two and a half meters it's done anyway. Right, in here I've got three four ounce lead weights and two three ounce lead weights. That's 18 ounces of lead, which according to my calculator. see that. 18 ounces of, well 18 ounces is 510.29 grams. So we're over the 500. So I'll just wind this up as far as I dare. See how far we can go. Well, that was quite effective. <laughs> that shot over the end of the three metre run. And smashed into my wall at the end, or door at the end. This time I'm going to try my 400 grams of chopped tomatoes and one four ounce weight which actually takes us up to the 500 grams again. Yep, we've done the three meter target. So with 500 grams, it looks like I can do 3 metres quite easily. Summary time! This is my rubber band powered car number 8, which is the one that I use for testing all sorts of different challenges. It has a swappable back axle facility. So I've swapped the back axle. I'm not actually using this big drum that I've got on the back here which changes the gearing. I uh, don't need that, I'm just going straight onto the axle wrapping the rubber band straight round it. The wheels are three CDs on each side with rubber strips around them cut from rubber washing up gloves so that gives us the extra grip. I've also got a lead weight sitting on there as well to help hold them down to give them that extra grip. 
on the front I've just put a cardboard ram or plate or whatever you want to call it so that it pushes against in this case four ounces of tomatoes and a four sorry not four ounces 400 grams of chopped tomatoes and a four ounce weight and if you add that up that comes to just over 500 grams so we're pushing 500 grams three meters